Chilla, what is your awesome thing of the so week? So my awesome thing of the week is the Microsoft Surface 3. What? Um, so I have the, I, I, I know I sit here every week with the, the glowing Apple logo. Um, <laughs> That, that beams proudly, its way proudly and into your hearts and minds, shining through the semi-transparent uh, <laughs> sea of his of his title. It's actually not right now. Yeah. You're, you're a little off camera, but uh, it, well, and it's it's because the the oh, oh, the oh, oh, MacBook see, see. is is being used as <laughs> wait, a, wait 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 as so a you're table. Using, you're using the MacBook because you can't put the damn surface on your lap. First of all, that's well, the, actually that's no, it is it is lappable. The the new so for me and I know other people. Have have said otherwise wow. for me i can get away completely with with lapping the the surface three and i would guess the surface pro three um one of the things and i i'm i'm a surface rt gen one owner i'm a surface early adopter surface pro gen one owner um and and i i really 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 did not like the aspect ratio of the screen um, being a 16 by nine screen was just odd and awkward. Okay. And that's one thing. So, so think about, think about using your Nexus seven tablet right in landscape all the time. Yeah. That's yeah, what it was awkward. like. To well, use. I tell you what, I got a super 16, nine on, on this uh, Asus over here. And, and we were talking about, uh, you know, uh, logging in and just bringing up your Mac stuff and then it's touchscreen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, you look at the ratio of the MacBook Pro versus this, and you just feel like you're losing so much off of that. Mm -hmm. Like, like the 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 Mac isn't completely sixteen nine. You got a little more space on the top and bottom, and you kind of want that, right? Right. Well, and and that's where I think they really took the theory behind the iPad, and they took that that eight by ten piece of paper i concept, mm -hmm. and the way they the way they developed the back hinge with the it has the um normal tilt the uh mid tilt and then all the way tilted um it actually works pretty well if you're trying to show someone something on your desk and, and kind of set up for a, a different tilt um that being said when the keyboard flips around um you now have a device that's much more like an ipad in in the aspect ratio but you can go back to that tablet type form factor and hopefully i'll drop it on your floor for those on the video i'm showing it um, up on the screen it looks like but a laptop like it, like, it like feels a it looks and feels like a laptop yeah and, and and the biggest thing is that aspect ratio on a screen the other big thing for this is and i put it put a link out um to microsoft site the price starts at 500 bucks mm -hmm. so you're not talking a thousand dollars you're not talking twelve hundred dollars whatever now i will say the five hundred dollars gets you the tablet that gets you the slate and that's about it um it does not get you the keyboard it doesn't get you the pen pen um but it, it does get you the device itself the storage comes 64 gig 128 gig you can get it in two gig and four gig models um the reason the price point's low is because of the atom processor mm -hmm. but it's their x7 it's their seventh generation, I guess, of Atom processor, which I will say is pretty darn snappy. Um, comes full size uh, USB three. You get a year of Office 365. Um, the other thing that I really like, and they, they actually borrowed this from the original RT, is the micro SD card slot is behind the kickstand. So it's in here and all nice and hidden. The other thing that I, I can't, I can't explain how much I love is the power adapter is USB micro USB. Not even cool. it's not USB C mm -hmm. it's, but it's micro. So and pretty much anything that you have that can charge something will pretty much charge it. Um, old phone phone so, cords like so, any. So it's not even like, um, like how, like, I have trouble because I can't plug my iPad into everything, right? Right. Like it, it's it's not like that over amperaged it's, version. No, the one thing I did did notice today was though, depending it, if you have a very generic charger, um, it'll say plugged in, not charging, unless you turn off the the screen. Mm -hmm. um, but I actually had an iPad, small brick, laying on my desk at work that I just grabbed a 
micro USB cord and that and plugged it in and it started and charging up go. right away. The other thing is, is I, and it's been running here on this show and I did not have it 100% charged when I got here, but it's still sitting at 84%. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Chrome tabs open. Ooh, <laughs> that's the test right there. <laughs> So, there was something, so something I was reading where they're like, yeah, uh, don't run your MacBook with Chrome if you want battery life, yeah. <laughs> which is true. It's completely true. Absolutely. But uh, you, you, you make those decisions, right? Yeah. So in the, in the pen, the pen's pretty cool. Um, I haven't played with the pen a lot. I'm actually waiting to upgrade this to Windows 10 because mm-hmm. um, one of the things I'm looking forward is with the Edge browser being able to annotate websites real quick and dirty. Um, I do have-